This is 22-year-old beauty therapist Eve. How are you? Thank you, thank you. She's an expert at enhancing what nature provided. I do love my job. Somebody can come in and they'll be crying and they can leave feeling a million pounds, you know? It's amazing, thank you. But sometimes when you're doing people's toenails, they're like flicking your mouth and then just have to go like... What can we get um, I want to go for a nice cocktail, something like quite sweet. Obviously, I mean, you must know porn star martinis, is it? I've never tried one of them, so I'll have you never tried one? Yeah, I've always wanted to try one. Pleasure, pleasure. And where are you from? I live in Bridgend. And how's the dating scene in Bridgend? Basically, everyone dates everyone. <laughs> it sounds so big-headed. I do get chatted up at bars. But a lot of boys from where I'm from go and get drunk on the weekends. Oh, my God, that's so nice. I'm not going to find my future husband in a bar while he's drunk and dribbling on your hand while they're trying to, like, talk to you, you know? And how long have you been single now? I think three years now. I think I'm too nice. Oh. I know. And then when I'm like, no, I'm not going to let anybody walk all over me. That's really? it. I don't, I don't see anybody ever then. Look-wise, I tend to go for tattoos. You know, like somebody solid who would, like, just chuck me over their shoulder, you know, and just look after me. <laughs> Eve's date is teaching assistant Jordan. He wants a sex bomb to take back to the green, green grass of home. I love Tom Jones when it comes to karaoke every Friday. <laughs> What's your name, please? Ah, uh, Jordan. Oh, I've been a bit of a rogue, I guess. I've drank, I've had my fun with women, but now I want to meet somebody where I can just start afresh. I do want to find love. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good, okay. thanks. If the energy's right when you first meet somebody, they could have a bald head, you know? I don't, I'm not bothered. It's the personality and the energy we give off is what I'm looking for. I used to have a top knot like that. Oh, my God, what, like, the ti like a tiny one? Mine was, like, my ear was down here. Was it? Only uh, just before Christmas. So weird, cos, um... I always, like, say it to people, like, straight away. I don't have any hair. I wear a wig. OK. This is going to freak you. came over at the wrong time. And I've got a tattoo inside of my head. Oh, wow. Why do you wear a wig? I've got um, alopecia, um, so my hair just, it just falls out. That suits you. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I've, like, thrown you off guard now, haven't I? <laughs> it's a bit like... It's like a shock. It's like, yeah. oh, my God. It's so annoying to put back on. Keep, keep it, it off. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'll be back in, like, two seconds. One of the main reasons why I wanted to do beauty was, you know, I went through school and I was bullied, all that, you don't have any eyebrows. I don't ever remember feeling, like, upset about it. But apart from now, <laughs> um, it's really hard. It's really hard. <laughs> oh my god! You know, my parents have to say really hard for for me to have nice hair. Like my dad, he works so hard. He drew on my first set of eyebrows. <laughs> I'd love somebody like my dad. A bit taller. And he's got no hair like me, so somebody with a bit more hair, you know, give our kids a chance. <laughs> Is there anywhere I can leave this? I will look after it for you, don't Thank worry. Thank you. <laughs>